What is the origin of the New Testament? Where does it come from? How did it take shape? What books were in? What gospels were left out? What is the origin of Christianity? And when should we start using the term Christian? During these lectures, you who listen attentively will learn that Jesus was not the only Jew who was crucified. You will contemplate the history of crucifixions. You will contemplate not only crucifixions, but the horrific martyrdoms, beginning with John the baptizer who was beheaded, Jesus who was crucified, Stephen who was stoned, up to James, the brother of Jesus, who was martyred, and then to the centuries of martyrdom, until you come to Milan in 313, you will hear us read the Edict of Milan. Most scholars have not. And you will see it doesn't establish Christianity. It just stops the killing of Christians. What is our focal question? Were those who were Jews aligned to Jesus pushed aside so that Greeks influenced by new Platonic thought or Neoplatonism controlled the first Christian councils and codified the official creeds recited by Christians throughout the world today. Where were the Jews? Where was Jesus? Would Jesus have understood the debates at Nicaea at Chalcedon. In these lectures, I will provide both data and methodology so you can explore all the main questions and become to be able to answer questions that I know you have raised. How did Machiavelli explain the success of Alexander the Great? How was he so successful? What is Hanukkah? Hanukkah. And when did it and why did it originate? Did Jesus celebrate it? How did our Bible take shape? And what were the stimuli for establishing a canon of books? What happened to the books that were considered holy in scripture and full of God's word, but not in your canon? Who was the neighbor in early Judaism? How Jewish was Jesus? Who was responsible for Jesus' death? Was it the high priest, Caiaphas, or the Roman governor, Pontius Pilate? Did Jesus really rise, or did he rise only in the hearts of his followers? Are the Dead Sea Scrolls sensationally important, and if so, why? What were the major crises as Christianity developed, and how did it change as it evolved? When and why did Christians shift the holy day from Shabbat, Saturday, to Sunday? If Jesus and Paul were Jews, and very proud of the fact of being Jewish, when should we begin to use the word Christian? Who chose the date, Anno Domini, in the year of our Lord, and did he goof? Why did the Roman Empire collapse? How many Gospels do we now have? And where are they? And how important are they? Did the early Christians consider they equal to or maybe better than Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? When did Jews and Christians part and say goodbye? Did Christianity ultimately represent Jesus' message? Or did his movement die with Constantine and the last martyrs? In these lectures, which are directed to all in all parts of the world, I shall be focusing on questions and providing, providing facts and insights and methods. Why? Because these are not confessional, these are not theological, these are academic and historical. And I want you to be able to find how to answer the right question the right way. I've said each lecture will begin with questions. How do they end? With three reflections. 
How was the way being prepared for the missionary zeal of Christianity? What is Torah? And third, what is the story? And after asking this eighth lecture, ninth lecture, it will be now what is the story?